Talk about Jao Felix, right? So it looks like his move to Chelsea is damn near all but done, right? Fabrizio is saying that these that him and um, Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, that the deal's about to get finalized. And a lot of people seem to either like the deal or they don't, right? Now, when I look at Jao Felix, right, he's a player that's flopped at Atletico Madrid, right? He's got passed around like a blunt on loan, was at Barcelona last season. He played pretty well for them, but they didn't have the money to bring him back. So he had to go back to Atletico Madrid. But obviously, he's burnt those bridges, right? I mean, last season, he scored against Atleti twice and celebrated twice like he lost his mind. So the fans hate him, right? They spent 130 M's on him, and he's scoring goals against them, not even for them. So, yeah, he has to go, right? And his value has dropped massively. I, I mean, I'm talking about... We're, bro, it's damn near a uh, $100 million evaluation drop-off, right? But regardless... Chelsea seemed to like him, right? He went on loan there, I think, not la the season before last, I believe, he was at Chelsea. And I think he was actually pretty good for them back then. And I believe that Chelsea, they wanted to extend his, or they wanted to make his deal permanent. But I think Atletico at the time was asking for about $80 million. Chelsea said, yeah, fuck that. And then he ended up not staying. Now, they're back in for him this summer, right? Now, we all know what happened with the Samu Omeridian deal where it fell through. He was um, supposed to go to Chelsea from Atletico. And then I don't know what happened, but right before the contracts got signed, it just didn't happen, okay? Regardless, Chelsea and Atleti both need to come to an agreement because Conor Gallagher, who's already agreed to go to Atleti, this move can't go through without Chelsea buying a player from them. Because Atletico Madrid, I guess they just don't have the money to just outright buy Conor Gallagher. And since the Omeridian deal has fallen apart, it looks like Jao Felix is who Chelsea want. And to me, I actually think this is a W. Because I think Jao Felix is better than Samuel Omeridian. Because Samuel Omeridian, like, he looks like an average player. Bad first touch. He's more so pace and power. Like, he's just big and he's fast. But I don't think he was a player that Chelsea needed. And I don't think Jao Felix is a player that Chelsea need at this moment, right? Because they have a lot of players that have similar skill sets to what Jao Felix does. I think Chelsea, they need a striker. They need somebody that can bag them 18 to 20 goals up front in the Premier League next season. Jao Felix is not that guy. But I do like his skill set. And I think him being a part of the squad, right? Whether he starts or not, who cares? The point is, I think he does make your squad better. And everybody talks to me about how Maresco wants to play a possession-based style of football, right? Well, then you got to bring in players who are good with the ball at their feet. And that's what Jao Felix is. Now, I don't know what price he might go for. I'm seeing $50 million, I'm seeing $45 I'm seeing 45 million i think Jao Felix should not be going more for more than 40 M's. I'm not gonna, and even then I'm kind of like, yeah, that's gotta be 40 million because we did some add-ons, right? Like to me, I, I don't think Atletico Madrid have any leg to stand on with him. Cause it's clear that they want him out, right? So it's not even like Chelsea are about to take a player that Atleti really valued. They don't want him anymore. And I think where you'll probably see him play is maybe in like that 10 role or on the left wing, right? But Chelsea, again, they, he, they don't need him to come in and start, right? They signed Pedro Neto. You got Cole Palmer on the right. You have Nkunku, who's going to be that 10. And then unless you're telling me that he's going to come in and be your striker, then I don't see where he gets in. But at the end of the day, it's about rotation. You need a big squad, right? This guy, Pedro Neto, plays about six games a season. So when he's out for 80% of it, you need another player that's going to be able to step up but the thing is, though, Chelsea have such a big squad that they got to start getting rid of some of these guys, right? Like, how do you bring in a Jao Felix, but then you still have Raheem Sterling, Madueke, Mudrick? Like, where are all these guys going to fit? And then after this season, right, we're going to look forward to the next season. You got Kendry Pies coming in. You got Estevao Willian coming in. It's Wingers FC over there in London. So while I do think that Jao Felix is a good player, I just think the priorities is just 
weird, right? I'm just like, bro, how do you have this billion pound squad and the striker up front for you is Nicholas Jackson? That don't even make sense. And it seems like they're looking at everybody else, but I know they're looking at Victor Osman now, but Victor Osman, that should have been one of the first players that they signed. And before I get into your chats, guys, tell me if I'm crazy for what I'm about to say. I low-key think that a transfer ban is coming for Chelsea. I know that they have been selling players through their academy and they have been, you know, generating some profit. But I just can't understand why they're buying players at the rate they are if they didn't know that maybe a ban or something is coming for what they might have done in the past. And I think if they do end up getting like a transfer ban for a year, then this is all great business, right? Stockpiling all this talent to kind of hold you over throughout whatever punishment you might get. But it's crazy. I, these guys are getting a here we go every three to five business days. Like as fast as you get an Amazon package is as often as they're getting a here we go. Like it's ridiculous. But I, it just doesn't seem right. Like something seems up. I don't know. I don't know. But what you guys saying though about Jao Felix?